What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Welcome Hi. back to our channel. It's a great day to be an Anderson. Don't forget before we get started to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications if you want to know when our new videos come out. So today we are back at our barn and we're going to teach you guys about horses and horsemanship and words that go with horses and we're going to give you some of the inside scoop on what it means to own a horse and what kind of equipment we use and things like that. So Eva and I are going to take you on a tour and dad will be doing some of it and some of the filming. We're going to show you our different types of horses. We're going to show you around inside our barn and just educate you guys a little bit on horses. It's going to be a really fun day. Let's go. Come on. All right. So first we're going to start off showing you guys what a barn is. A barn is a place where our animals live and inside the barn we have several different stalls. For us in our family, we only have horses at our barn, but other people have pigs and cows and all kinds of animals. But we're going to show you right here's our barn, this big white barn. My grandpa built this, Eva's great grandpa. He built this with his own hands. He loved horses. And now we have it as part of our family to enjoy animals. And if you walk down this alley here, over here is our hay barn. You can see. We're getting ready to redo this hay barn in the next few years. It's really old, but we like to stack this up with hay to feed our animals. And then we only have to buy hay a few times a year. If you kind of walk through the hay barn here, we'll introduce you to a couple of our horses. Some of you might have seen our first video and know who our horses are. But I want to let you guys meet the horses again and tell you about what types they are. When we buy hay, we buy it for the whole year. So guess how high this goes. Look. Look at all that. It goes all the way to the ceiling. That's nuts. This is Oreo. She's a female. What we call female horses is a mare. A mare is any female horse over four years old. So Oreo's a mare. She's black and white, and I told you she's a paint. All the paint horses look different. Some of them have more than two colors. Oreo's just black and white. And you can see why she got her name. She's got her black head, her black rear, and the white middle, just like an Oreo. We've had Oreo for a long time, and she is a great horse. She loves to get pets. See how friendly she is? She's one of the best horses we've had. This right here is called a star. Some horses have this white marking on their forehead. That's called a star. And then if you look at Oreos, see, you can see a little brown in here, but if you look inside her mouth, let's see if she'll show you guys. Those front teeth right there, those are called incisors. Horses have big teeth just like humans, but she's a really good girl and we love her. She's been around for a long time. Let's go check out our other pink. Come on. This is Gypsy. She is a paint as well. You'll notice she has more color to her. She's got this beautiful brown, white. She's got some black. She's eating her hay right now. This is her food. It's alfalfa. This was my mom's horse. And me and Eva have enjoyed riding her. I've even got to take her up in the mountains. We can barrel race on her. She's a great horse. And all these large horses you see on our farm, they're all quarter horses. And what quarter horses are is they're an American breed of horse. They're called the quarter horse because they're really fast at short distances. So they can run like up to a quarter mile very fast, faster than other horses, and they're American. That's where the word quarter horse comes from. We'll get these horses cuddling together. <laughs> when you're meeting a horse for the first time, they're very curious and they're very friendly animals. And it's a great way to let them get to know you by smelling you. So if you put a fist or a flat hand, but I recommend a fist and just let them have a smell. They'll either recognize you if they know you, or if they don't know you, they'll feel comfortable and familiar. So anytime you meet a horse, that's a great way to get to know each other. Gypsy's getting a drink out of her trough right now. That's this big, huge bucket that holds water or food. It's called a trough. See, she's getting her drink. She's thirsty. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, she's so beautiful. She's drinking a lot. 
This is Alec, you guys. He's our only male horse that we currently have. So male horses have two different names. They could be named a stallion or they could be named a gelding. And what a gelding is, is it means the male's been fixed. He can no longer have children. Now, why would we do that? Because it makes the horses more enjoyable. It makes them be able to relax more. When you want to train a horse to ride, you're usually going to buy a gelding if it's a male. The stallion horses, we used to have a stallion here, but they're made to breed. They're a little more wild. So usually if you encounter a male horse you're going to ride, it's going to be a gelding. So Alex, our only gelding here, and he is a sorrel horse, which is kind of a brownish red. And he is very beautiful. He's been here for a long time and we really love him. Now also, if you come close, you'll notice that he has brand new shoes. Do you guys see that? He just got these shoes done a week or two ago by a person called a farrier. Now a farrier is a person that trims horses' hooves and puts their shoes on. It's a special skill that people have to go to school for or learn hands-on but it's a specialty, so we hired a farrier, and he comes out, and he shaves their hooves down, just like you would have to cut your fingernails, and then he shoes them so that they can walk and be healthy. Let's go meet our last horse, B. The best shirt. horse of all. My shirt, B. Here she is. You guys have seen her in our other video. This is our mini horse, B. Yes, you guys, before I tell you about B, let's turn around and look through the fence here. Our neighbors just got a baby calf. I've never seen it before. Let's see if we can get it to come over. Oh my goodness, look at he it. He is so cute. I have not got to meet this little calf yet. All but right, here is B. She loves attention. I like to compare Bee to a dog. She reminds me more of a dog than a horse. She's so much fun. So Bee is known as a mini horse. Now you might think, is that a pony? No, she's not a pony. You could call her a pony, but she's not a pony. She's actually a miniature horse, a mini horse. So the difference between a mini horse and a pony is their size. Ponies are much larger. Ponies are more like a small horse. Pony has a big white barrel and stocky legs. It's got a different look. The mini horses actually are very proportionate to the size of a normal full grown horse. So you'll see her legs compared to her body, her head compared to her body. It's all proportionate like a big horse. That's a mini horse. Now when you measure horses, you call the measurement hand. A hand is about four inches. So instead of saying this, this horse is five feet tall or this horse is two feet tall. You would say this horse is 11 hands or 16 hands. That's how we describe measuring our horses. And like I said, that's about four inches per hand. All right, guys, we're inside the barn. You've met all the horses we have. And these are the stalls I was telling you about. So this barn only has two stalls. We've got B in one and Alec in one. And if you come close, b has got her name on the stall right here. She's spoiled. But anyways, we keep some of these food over here. She eats a little bit different type of hay. And then this is just an open area in our barn. You can see these roping dummies. Eva's uncle loves to rope, and so he'd come in and play with these with his ropes. Maybe one day we can do a video showing you guys how to rope. And then if you come back this way, this is called a wash bay. This is where you prep your horses to ride them, you wash them, give them a bath, brush them, saddle them up, all of it. And right here is a bunch of our old horseshoes. This is just kind of a fun thing we have going here. Look who's showing the horseshoes. Take, take one off the wood. These? Yep, just one. They're all old horseshoes that have been on our horses. You see the nails. And that's how you put them in. They, they put nails in there, but it doesn't hurt the horse. It actually helps the horse. So put that back. And then over here on the sole, we keep our halters. A halter is what you use to get your horse. This is Eva's halter, the purple one, of course, because we love purple. I think my nanny's. Nanny's is right here. 
Yes. So this halter is how we'll go into the stall and get the horse, and then we'll bring it to the wash bay. Now, if you were going to lead a horse around, lead is just to walk, like I'm holding the horse walking with a little kid on it, you would probably just keep the halter. If you're gonna ride a horse yourself, you're gonna put a bridle on. We'll show you guys the bridle in a little bit, but I just wanted to teach you about that. So let's get Bee's halter and let's go get her and bring her out to the wash bay. So when I come to get my horse out, whether it's this mini horse or big horse, I like to get my halter in my hand and I like to bring this lead rope around it and set around its neck so it knows what I'm doing. Then you undo the halter and you kind of let it hang and you slide it over their nose. And then it's got a piece that comes up behind her ears. And buckles in. Okay, I've got B on her halter. And we're going to take her out to the wash bay. Now there's two things I want to teach you guys about horses. One is that you never walk by their butt. You never go behind their butt, right Eva? And the reason is, they won't know what you are back there and they'll kick you and it can hurt you very bad. The second is, when we have a lead rope and the halter or reins, whatever you're using, you never ever wrap it like this to hold the horse. That is so dangerous. You don't want them wrapped around your arms. If they ran, you get hurt very bad. You gather up the rope and bunch it and hold it like this. So if anything happened, you could just let go of the horse. That's how you stay safe, okay? Let's take B out to the wash bay. Mommy. Mommy. I look? Yep. This my shirt. This is my shirt. This is Eva's horse, B. Eva's Good leading B. Okay, we're going to tie B up here in the wash bay. And then we're going to get her a bucket of grain and let her snack while we get her groomed. She's enjoying her oats. Now we're gonna do what we call groomy. That means we're gonna like brush her, do her hair. You can give her a bath. One video we're gonna give her a bath, but not today. So me and Eva have our grooming tools right here. Eva has this cool backpack to groom with. Get your brush out, Eva. I'm, Bee's got her undercoat coming out since it's spring now. So all her hair in the winter gets really oh, thick and long to keep her warm. Yep, put that down. All her hair in the winter gets really thick and long to keep her warm. Then in the spring, it starts to come out, and we're going to brush that off for her. See that coming out? Look at that. So we're going to give her a nice brushing and clean her up. We're going to groom her a little bit. show you guys in detail we're like right here is a set of reins and there's all different types of reins but here's one of the sets of reins the reins are the part that hangs down it would come back this is the bridle it goes on the horse's head the bit right here there's lots of kinds of bits but the bit goes in the horse's mouth this goes back on their head the ears come through here and then the reins come up and you're sitting on your saddle and you hold the reins and this is how you would like drive or steer your horse and tell it where you want to go. These are called round reins. You see they're just one big piece and they're round. Those are round reins. There's the bridle. Here's the bit. 
this back here is a chin strap. Goes under the horse's chin and keeps the bridle on. And then I'm gonna see if I can show you guys this set right here. All right, this set right here is a different bridle. And all bridles are different. See how this one, it just has a place where one ear goes through and then this comes around as the chin strap. And this is a different type of bit. There's tons of different types, but these are called split rings. And you see they're two long strings. It's just a different style of riding. They come back and the reins are split and you can kind of hold them one in each hand when you're riding. So it's just a different type of rein. Now we are Western riders, so everything in here is Western. There's a different type of riding that's English, which is like the equestrian riding where they jump both. We do Western or pleasure riding. Our family's cowboys, we like to rodeo, we like to ride in the mountains. Now if you were to go up into the mountains, right here you'll see some of our gun cases for hunting and our saddlebags. You could load up some stuff on the back of your horse and carry it up the mountain. You could even camp on the mountain if you wanted. But this is some of the stuff we enjoy doing and our family loves, and we hope you find enjoyment in it. Let's go back over and say goodbye with B. We have loved sharing our barn and our horses with you, and we hope you learned a little bit about horses and different vocabulary and horsemanship. If you have any more interest in this, I know we're gonna do more videos on it, but shoot us some questions, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you wanna see more horse videos. But we appreciate you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.